everybody, it's Gypsy. As you're about to see from the clip I have coming up, I've been having some problems with my herbs. Uh, now the weird thing is, I first noticed this on my sweet mint plant. Maybe because it's sweet mint, I don't know. Um, the leaves were being eaten. Um, I tried the soap and water method, sprayed my plants with that. Um, it, the infestation has also spread into my other mini herb gardens, attacking my basil, uh, my lemon thyme. The oregano's not too bad. What else? Does not like common sage, but it is attacking my pineapple sage. These little things. Uh, so I tried this the um, soap and water method for a few. I sprayed with that. It didn't do a thing. Um, so I'll show you what I started, what I tried with my mint. Okay, everybody. So I noticed my sweet mint was being eaten with a very lacy look. Um, I did some investigating, and it was infested with... Okay, I just lost that little sucker. There were a bunch here. Um... These little green caterpillars, they're trying to attack my basil right now. Um, yeah, it just climbed up here. So anyways, what I did with my uh, sweet mint was I dumped out all of the soil and I took off and I, I you know, cleaned off the roots, went through the leaves um, to see if any of those little caterpillar worm-like things are on there. There were like three of them right here, and as soon as I went to go show you guys, uh, they hid somewhere. So anyways, um, I'm finding they've infested all of my herbs. So I need to get more soil. Um... And do the same thing with these plants. My basil, it's affecting my, uh, well, it's not affecting the sage. They don't seem to like sage. Uh, yeah, there's one right there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, right there on that stick. Am I pointing? Yeah, right over here. Um, right there. There's one right there. That's a tiny one. Um, yeah, my lemon thyme they're attacking. This is my propagated basil that was just doing so wonderfully. And they're getting the bee balm. I have another, my other container over there. So I'm going to be getting more soil, uh, dumping that, replacing fresh soil, uh, cleaning off the leaves and the roots, making sure I got all these little creatures. Um, I think what happened was when I was in the high desert where there's a lot more foliage, you know, trees, woods, um, I picked up these little things. I have to look up what they are. I mean, I've seen them before. I'm hoping this works. Um, uh, I picked them up there and now I'm in the low desert. So I emptied all the dirt. I don't think they're going to survive here without the water and the soil, um, but I'm, that's, those are the measures I'm taking right now. I'm going to look up uh, to see what a uh, better way to deal with these little green, wormy caterpillar things are. I'm not sure. There I am. Let's see. This way more. I'm trying to show you guys. Uh, yeah. Right here. Okay, where is, can you see it? Oh, there you can see it. Yes, this is what, what has been doing it. So, anyways, I'm going to keep you posted on how that works. And then I just did some research. I want to do this naturally, organically. Um, so, I did some research. I found um, two articles, two blog posts. They think are going to be helpful. I'm going to put the links below in case you're having these problems. Um, now, the one particular um, 
spray, homemade spray that's organic. I don't have all the ingredients for it. I think I have like two out of a few. Um, so I'm going with another one. Um, this one, let's see, it's um, a chili, chili spray. Now it calls, let's see, you boil a half a gallon of water with three and a half ounces of dried ground chilies. Now, I don't have any dried chilies either. So, I'm going to do a little compromise and see if this works. But in the meantime, I'm going to go get the ingredients for the other spray. But I thought, well, I always have hot sauce. I mean, I love spicy food. This is fairly hot. It's um, a tapatio. Uh, it's a hot sauce. They say red peppers, and it is spicy. I'm not a good judge of how hot, because this really isn't too hot to me. I love spicy food. I'm, like, immune to the heat. Um, but I think this might work. So I'm going to put this in some water. I'm going to just substitute it for the chilies. And I'm going to spray this. Now, these blog posts, you know, when you make these sprays, they don't tell you how often and for how long to treat your plants. So that's going to be more of an experiment, um, but I'm going to try this first. I did, my my sweet mint was just so eaten, and I saw so many of these little green caterpillars in the soil, I just dumped all the soil, and, and you'll see that. I explained that in the little clip I have. Um, so anyways, I'm going to give this a try on all my plants. Of course, my rosemary and my lavender, they've left alone. That's not the type of plant they like. These are actually called cabbage worms. They like anything in the cabbage family, like cabbage, broccoli, kale. Unfortunately, I'm not growing kale or any of those. Kale, I love kale. Um, but nothing in the cabbage family I have. They're attacking my herbs. They just seem to like the leafier, or leafier vegetables and herbs like basil and stuff like that. But anyways, so I'm going to make this spray. I'm going to spray it uh, on all my plants, and I'll keep you updated on how that works. Uh, but afterwards, um, they're saying to keep these pests the way you make a spray using vinegar. And I did try that, too, but it, it, it had already infestated it. Yeah, is that right? Infestated? Whatever. My plants. Um, but anyways, after I get rid of them... I am going to um, do this one. It's a mixture of water and vinegar. Uh, and you just spray it on your plants as a preventative measure. But I also found, where is that? Now, I know about neem oil. It does seem a bit risky because it is very strong. You'd have to be very careful. But if worse comes to worse, I'm going to get neem oil. Uh, let's see, where is this? I thought this was really cool. I'm going to invest in this. Now, yes, it says cover plants with a fine mesh netting. They do have uh, butterfly, and this it is, the butterflies will land on your plants and lay their eggs. And this is how you end up with these little green caterpillars. Now, the spray I'm making, I believe it's also good for aphids. And I, at first, I assume that because back in Ohio, that's our biggest problem. Um, but this netting, it's a butterfly protection netting, four millimeters by 10 millimeters. Uh, oh, that's in the UK. I wonder if the, this is Amazon UK. I, so for you guys in the UK, they have it there. Um, I'm going to have to look for the US, but I'm going to get some netting to put over, um, drape over my plants. And I think it will also take care of my rodent problem. Which Miss Persephone has taken care of that, has gotten rid of the rodents. They just get one look at her and they take off running and don't come back. However, Miss Persephone is also a predator of my plants, as most cats are. So I'm going to try uh, the netting too. So when I get that, I'll let you know. I'll show it to you and how that works. You know, it's, I'm sure it's very simple. I'll let you know how it works. Um, and the spray, I'm going to make that right away and start spraying my plants now with that. If it does not work with the tapatio, um, 
I'm going to go get the other ingredients I need for the other spray, which is very similar. It just has, I think, onions and garlic. And I have hot pepper flakes, of course. Um, there was a horseradish you put in there. So if this doesn't work, I'm going to try that. Uh, but I'm going to start with this right away. I will keep you guys updated on this. Like I said, homesteading, growing your own food is important. Always has been. But now more than ever, with where the prices and what's going on. I mean, I've seen so, I still see empty shelves in the stores. So I think self-sufficiency is very, very important these days, which is why I'm sharing this information. And I'm, uh, to me, this is definitely homesteading. Um, and if we share this information with, with each other, we're, support, we're, we're supporting each other in being self-sustaining. So this is why I'm doing this. So anyways, this is where we're at now with my cabbage uh, caterpillar infestation. I'm going to give this a try. Uh, I, I'm not sure how long before I make a decision. If it's a few days, a week, what? Or how many times a day to spray my plants. Um, but we'll see. And then after I get that taken care of, it, it's it, vinegar spray um, is, is going to be a preventative measure. Uh, so that is where we're at now. I was so sad to see all this, but I'm going to get it taken care of because my plants have been doing so good. I propagated that basil like I showed you guys um, in a previous video. What was that, about a month ago? And I had just propagated little basil from the original basil plants. And when I showed you guys, they were only like little tiny things. Well, they're huge now, but now they have this caterpillar infestation, which is really disappointing. They would look so gorgeous. Anyways, I'll keep you posted. Stay tuned. Bless the bee and make it a joyful one.